Uh, you're talking about two things here this meeting in Nice. One is the uh, the two trials that are that are running, which you're involved in. Yeah. And uh, the other was, uh, I thought, really most interesting, and that's uh, this a question of um, of of nerve sparing surgery. Yeah. So tell us about the trials first. Uh, well, we just gave updates of the TME trial. Yep. TME trial, which is a Dutch trial. Then. Which is a Dutch Swedish trial. Okay. Sweden cooperated with that. Also a URTC, mm -hmm. so uh, a number of. Uh, centers Paris and from Italy as well, yeah. and even Canada participated. Right. Mandatory was that you had a well-trained surgeon, that pathology was uh, reviewed and yeah. standardized, uh, so was radiation therapy. And uh, the, the, one of the effects in the Netherlands was because there was a uniformous participation of all the surgeons in the Netherlands in this trial who had to go through a learning curve and do exams before they were allowed to participate in uh -huh. the study, that we just published this, uh, this month in the European Journal of Surgical Oncology that five-year survival dramatically improved as a result of that in the whole of the Netherlands and recurrence rate was reduced by 60%. So apart from the uh, research questions in the trial, the research question was when you perform good surgery, is additional radiation therapy preoperatively still of value? And the answer is yes, it is, and uh, also in the long term, without a survival benefit, by the way. And uh, but the dramatic effect nationwide mm. is that uh, it went so much better in all of our rectal cancer patients in the whole of the Netherlands. So this had an effect on multidisciplinary team meetings, mm. better staging, better cooperation with all the involved disciplines and an improved uh, survival, which is now better in the Netherlands in rectal cancer than in colon cancer, whereas traditionally colon so, cancer uh, always had the better survival. I've always believed that the quality of the surgeon was the most important it part is. of the whole man management yeah, process. And, and it still is. And, and I've, uh, I work, as you know now, in the European Institute of yeah. Oncology with Umberto Veronese in Milan, and he too, I believe, has strongly uh, shown in a number of different uh, scenarios that that you start with a very good surgeon. It is a real problem uh, in some parts of Europe that surgeons haven't yet taken this on board and yep. they still dabble and they, and, and they do not take the time to learn this kind of thing. This is an incredibly important lesson that you've, uh, that you've yes. taught us. Well, that's uh, an, another important aspect. You mentioned the European Society of Surgical Oncology and yeah. together with ESTRO, I took the initiative as a ECHO project yeah. that other countries are, will get now the possibilities both by training as well as by auditing, because yeah. I strongly believe in auditing. You should know your own results yeah. and should be, ha have the, 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 the feedback on it, what is good and what can be improved. And we have 10 countries now involved in a European, and we call it the Eureka Project. So we are both working on consensus of diagnosis and treatment, and on the other hand, also on uh, good auditing and uh, looking at the data per hospital, per mm. surgeon, they will be not public, n publicly known. So when you put in your data, you will get a feedback. How do you compare with your patients sure. to others? Sure. And uh, we also tra are, are doing training courses, among others, with the European School of Oncology. Well done. That's, uh, that's really impressive. Thank you very much indeed for all of that, and we'll pick you up at the ESO meeting, I hope, uh, in Bordeaux uh, later in September. on, and then an echo after that. That's Thank right. Thank you very much indeed.